So let's talk about now something that you will probably likely want to do, which is create a multicam sequence. One of the great benefits of having all of this footage and having um, the band is that you can right away synchronize all of that footage and start doing a multicam cut with the actual performance of the song. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's the easiest way to do it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take every piece of footage that they've given us and we're going to use that to build the multicam sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and twirl down audio. I'll twirl down footage and I've already sort of revealed the bass, the drums and the, and the guitar there. And I'll twirl down Dan vocals. So what we're gonna do is now we're simply going to select all of the clips that contain video and audio. And the reason for this is that we're going to use our automatic audio sync function in our multicam preparation here. This is a very easy way to synchronize all of your clips together. This is something that you can use anytime you've got audio captured across clips and multiple devices to synchronize via audio very, very quickly. So I'll start by selecting the master wave file. Let's grab all of the vocal tracks of Dan. Let's scroll down here and we'll grab all of the takes of the bass player. Now notice here, these ones do not indicate that they have any sound on them. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna choose those. Why? Because we're going to synchronize via audio. So if there's no audio in them, they would simply be left out. We're not gonna do that, all right? Let's grab all the drum takes that contain sound and grab all the guitar takes that contain sound. And I believe that's it. So we've got the master audio file, that's key. You wanna make sure you select the master audio file. We've got all of the vocals, we've got the bass, the drums, and the guitar, okay. So at this point, let's go ahead and right click on any one of these or control click. And we're going to choose, and I'll zoom in here so you can see it. Zoom up a little bit. We're going to choose Create Multicamera Source Sequence. So here now you've got a couple of different options. First of all, let's go ahead and give this a name and I'll call this Band Multi Master, all right? Now, you'll notice that the first thing you have is how do you want to synchronize this? So in points, out points, time code, clip markers. Yes, you could do all of those things. We're gonna make this really easy for you. Simply choose audio and that is in fact the default. Now, uh, I think the default setting for track channel is one. You've got a stereo mix here. I typically choose mix down. We're gonna track the mix down, okay? So go ahead and switch it to that. You can leave it on track one. I just find that this tends to work better and tends to also leave things out if it has any trouble synchro uh, synchronizing. Now under sequence preset, you can click this dropdown and you're going to see that all the various preset options are available to you and there are lots of them. This in and of itself could be very daunting. You may stop just there. Here's the thing, you don't have to even change it. Go ahead and choose sequence preset automatic and let Premiere do the work for you. Fortunately, all of these clips are in the same frame size. They're all the same. So it's very easy for Premiere to make the sequence and set the correct sequence settings automatically. Very, very nice. All right. Now, one of the options that you have the option to choose, and I like using this, is to move source clips to a process clips bin. The reason for that, and the reason behind that is when it creates this multicam sequence, it's going to take all of the content that you see here, and it's simply going to move it into another bin. The benefit there is that if you go back into the base folder, then you'll see, oh, okay, these four clips haven't been used because they will be the only ones residing in that base folder. Everything else will be locally moved into another bin. So that's entirely up to you. I like that just to kind of keep things organized. And again, if stuff is already in that processed bin, it tells you that it's already part of the multicam cut that you're creating, all right? Under audio, you've got sequence settings. Camera one is the default, and you'll see you've got three options here. Camera one, all cameras, switch audio. You can choose any one of these. We're just gonna stick with the defaults here to make it really simple. Audio channel preset, we are working in stereo. Let's go ahead and leave that as stereo. Again, you've got different options here. We're just gonna go with the default. And the last thing that you can choose to change is how the camera names appear. Now, typically I just leave it on enumerate cameras. It doesn't really matter. Now, one of the things that I'll show you in a moment when you start cutting, it can be kind of nice to actually have the clip names um, contained. The reason being that they already went ahead and named everything appropriately based on what it is, vocals, bass, drums, guitar. So you'll see in a moment, it just makes it easier to actually call out and swap out cuts and shots when the clip name is used. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that box, click OK, let it do its thing, and boom, it's done. It has now synchronized everything. And what you'll now see, and in fact here, I'm just going to very briefly switch to my editing workspace here. 
move my project panel up here so I can just, you can see things a little bit better. You'll see right here at the bottom, or at the top because it reorganized, <laughs> we have this multi master. So this is the multi cam sequence that we just created. Now, if you go ahead and right click or control click on that, I want you to choose, let's zoom up here so you can see it, open in timeline, okay? And this is now going to let you see, let's go ahead and just make this full screen for a moment. I'll turn off my camera for a second so you can kind of see everything here. This now lets you see all of the clips that were just synchronized. And one thing that you'll note, now again, this is one of the reasons why it's great to have the names in the, in the, uh, the clips themselves. Notice that three out of the five uh, vocal lines or three out of the four vocal lines run the entire duration of the song. So this is very significant, right? You, you'll always be able to cut back to those. They did that by design. What you'll also notice is that things like the bass performances are scattered throughout, okay? So again, you don't have the whole bass performance, you've got bits and pieces, which means as editors making the cut, this is where you're going to get very creative to insert different shots, of which you saw we've got dozens and dozens of shots of the fight scenes with Dolph, Dan on his own, Dan as a child. There's an enormous amount of content to fill in the gaps here. But this is what I wanna show you. And again, similarly with the drums and the guitar, you can see we've got 19 tracks of video going on here, all sort of spread out. But the really nice thing is that you've got those vocal lines, those standard vocal performances, um, going through the entire performance, going through the entire cut. So that's awesome and you'll see why in just a moment, all right? So let's go back here, minimize, I'll turn my camera back on. All right, there we go. So that is effectively how you set up the multicam sequence. Now, once you've done that, this is just showing you the master. We have one more thing to do here. Go ahead and select that multicam icon up here inside of your project panel, and you're simply going to choose new sequence from clip. And this will, oh, sorry, that got a little cut off there. New sequence from clip. And this is actually going to build the sequence that you will cut from, okay? And you see it even colors it a different, uh, it's a different shade of green here. This is your multicam cutting sequence. So this sequence that's opened in timeline, this is just showing you the stack, all right? And you can, again, you can add additional clips into these tracks, whether they're empty or just in some of the empty space, and then you'll be able to see them once we actually get into the multicam cut. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute, all right? So that is effectively creating the multicam sequence using audio sync.